Hi, I'm Andrea Grinitsky, Senior Vice President of Global Performance Solutions at Richardson. The topic for this video blog is coaching for sales success. Certainly, sales coaching is not a new topic. In fact, the concept of separating coaching from managing as a different set of responsibilities and skills has been gaining a great deal of traction in recent years. At Richardson, we would advocate that coaching is a sales manager's most important role. In fact, a 2011 report from Burson & Associates cited that coaching has a 1.5 to 2 times greater impact on business results than does pay for performance or standard performance assessments. Yet when you do separate managing from coaching and define what it takes to be successful in both areas, it becomes clear that many of today's sales managers are not equipped to coach their teams. Most managers got to where they are not because they were great at managing people, but because they were great at sales. Consider this scenario. A new member of your sales team comes into your office with a problem. She's just not making any progress with the warm leads that she has. What do you do? Well, since you were a top sales performer yourself, you know exactly what she's going through. So you tell her what she needs to do in order to break the logjam and connect with prospects. Sounds like something you'd do? Sure. But it isn't the best approach because you're doing all of the work for her and you're telling her the solution. And the next time she has a problem, she'll expect to come to you for the answers. Instead, what you should be doing is asking before telling. Ask her why she thinks she's struggling and what suggestions she has for overcoming these problems. This is a much more productive dialogue to have because it does three things. It forces her to self-assess why she is having challenges. It helps you better understand her thought process and the true root cause of her performance issue. Is she unprepared for her calls? Is she having a hard time resolving prospect objections? Is she struggling to articulate value? And finally, it forces her to come up with her own solution, rather than always relying on you to tell her the answer. All of those things together allow her to take more accountability for improving her own performance. Richardson has found that when you let your people talk, when you ask them to think about the obstacles they face and the ways to overcome them, then they begin to think smarter to self-coach with your guidance along the way and to become more independent and productive.